I like this idea of um, helping in a group setting and, and be able to have um, everyone cheering each other on, on whatever health goals that is. We're going to talk a lot about tiny little things that we can do that's going to move us forward. Um, Andrea knows this, but I always talk to my clients about what's going well. I don't, I'm never a person who says, you got to work harder. I'm not a drill sergeant, but I definitely want you to see the progress you're making and the things that are going well. So I'm glad, Andrea, to hear that you lost weight over the holidays. Congratulations. <laughs> so I'll just let you guys, we'll kind of go through this a little bit. So our first week is going to be your ideal life. So today we're going to create... If I could have my ideal life, a lot of times I ask my clients, if I had a magic wand and tomorrow something was different in your life, what would you want that to be? And we're going to also talk about setting something that we're going to just work on one thing at a time because sometimes we can get overwhelmed when we work on too many things at once. So this week we're going to talk about creating an inspiring and motivating wellness vision. So it's, it's really cool to set a vision where you actually can see and talk about what you want to have happen in your life. So we're gonna create that this week. A PDF that we have is uh, the Jump Into the New Year. So this kind of is an outline of our class for today. So if you could imagine your ideal life, what would it look like? What would it feel like? For me, when I think about my ideal life, I think about I would have more time to rest. I would have more time for myself. Yeah. I was, gonna, I was just going to interject there. Yeah. One, one thing that, um, as you were speaking about that, one thing that I have a, a problem with myself is back to the lofty goals that everybody has talked about. I do the exact same thing and then I get really frustrated with myself because I cannot stick to them and then I quit. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and then that, that makes me feel even worse. So. Yeah. Yes, so that's a that's a huge yeah, that's a huge one for me. I think that's yeah. be bigger than any of the others I talked about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's setting goals and then not fulfilling them, and then you feel worse because you didn't. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm hard on myself when I fail when I'm not doing what I said I was going to do. Yeah, and, and then you get even more. I, I feel the same way, and then I feel like I just don't even want to set goals anymore. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Like you kind of get scared almost. You why, get scared why try failure? Like failing at it, yeah. I feel the same exactly. way. So one thing I want you guys to think about is self-compassion. Okay? If your best friend came to you and said, you know, I set this goal that I was going to eat, I was going to have a green smoothie every day for this whole week, and I only had one one day of this week, I am, I'm a failure. What would you say? What would you say to your friend? Keep going. Yeah. You did it one day. This <laughs> is awesome. Good for you. you. You're changing a habit and it's hard and it sucks sometimes, you know? So I want you to think about that, giving yourself the same um, love and compassion that you would give to a friend, the same kindness you would give to a friend who's trying to change something. And we are going to set manageable goals for you guys. We're going to set goals that seem like they're small but they're very doable okay and then we're going to look at that goal after that goal and then going to the next goal 